The Curiosity rover was a few billion years too late to splash in the water, but it has now discovered the aftermath of wind-driven waves preserved in rocks on the shore of an ancient Martian lake on this episode of Mars Guy. Perseverance is still parked at the edge of Belva Crater, investigating rocks probably deposited by an ancient meandering river. Thousands of kilometers away in Gale Crater, the Curiosity rover has been climbing through the layers of the more than five kilometer tall Mount Sharp, a layer known as the marker band for its distinctively dark tone and resistance to erosion has long been a target for investigation by Curiosity. That's because it occurs at a transition between lower layers rich in clay minerals and upper layers rich in sulfate minerals. It's thought that this transition signals a dramatic change in the climate of Mars from warmer and wetter to colder and drier. Last November, Curiosity arrived at the marker band after more than 10 years exploring the edge and lower flanks of Mount Sharp. It was greeted with some bizarre looking slabs of rock broken off a prominent layer. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The slabs have ribs of rock unlike anything seen before, presumably due in part to erosion by wind and sand. But what would cause such prominent crests and troughs? The arm mounted Molly camera reached out for a closer look at a cross section of one of the slabs. It shows corrugated layers that haven't been gouged out by erosion, offering clues to the origin of the ribbed rocks. The answer became pretty clear after Curiosity drove up on top of the marker band. A panorama from MassCam, which has been color calibrated to Earth-like illumination, shows the prominent topographic bench formed by the marker band and the ribbed slabs that have tumbled off. Around to the north, there are slabs of in-place bedrock in varying stages of erosion. Many of them display beautiful examples of ripple marks, some well-preserved and others more eroded, including the deeply ribbed appearance. On Earth, ripples can form from both wind and water, so they appear on top of sand dunes and under shallow water, resulting from the interaction of the moving fluid and loose sand but the shape of the ripples is key for distinguishing between the different settings. Ripples with a symmetric cross-section are the result of wave action. The back and forth motion generated by waves creates symmetric ripples. Wind doesn't do this. The ripple marks discovered by Curiosity have a symmetric shape, which is best displayed in the cross-section view observed with the Molly camera. They show an almost textbook form that provides robust evidence for the action of waves in shallow water. Such ripples can become buried by sediment, lithified, and preserved in the rock record, a relatively common feature of ancient sedimentary rocks on Earth. But we've now seen how Mars adds a twist by sandblasting the ripple into shapes that look otherworldly. <laughs> 